at first glance, this looks like just your ordinary birthday card from your... Well, I'm not going to say ordinary grandmother, but... It looks like a regular old birthday card. And then you look at the other side. Now, what the hell is an IBM Selectric? It's typewriter. That's what it is. And over here... This is what I got for my birthday. Now, Mimi said she was okay with being in the video. You have any comments you want to add? Yes, my comment would be, I am irritated that it has to go to the repair shop as I purchased a unit that was said to be in good condition. Well, it probably was in good condition, then fed up, screwed it up. Well... Ow! I just dropped that on my foot. That could be. Yeah. But anyway, for some, for people who, and I guarantee you there will be people who will ask why the hell I would want one of these. Well, and Mimi will probably be able to fill in some gaps on this story because this story also involves her. Okay, well, what's the deal? When I was, how old was I when I discovered it? I don't, I was very little. And Mimi over there actually had one of these. Or something, it was an IBM Selectric, we don't remember exactly which version it was. And she doesn't remember where it came from, it, for 100% certain, but she's pretty sure that it was from the drugstore that uh, her parents owned. But she can't remember. Um, I found it when I was little. It was one of the first, if not the first, non-fan related Item. No, I guess it was one of the first, because the elk, because the stuffed elephant was the first. That's the wrong elephant. There's Abby. Right, that, yeah. that was the first one. But uh, I, it, it was very early on, and I used it all the time. The office at the Roach Palace. This was before the Roach Palace became the Roach Palace when they were still living there, and I was living in the house across the street growing up. There was a bay window in the office, looked over the front yard, and her desk was up against that wall, but the bay window had an out, but the bay window created an outcropping, so there was space back there. And she set me up back there with this thing, and I had my own little workstation in the bay window. And I, I had a little stool that I sat on. I think we put the typewriter on a wooden box. I don't remember for certain, neither does Mimi. This was a very long time ago. But I do remember that I eventually lost interest in it, I think as a result of the big bad flood of 2012, which actually did flood the typewriter, and which put it into its functionality. Much later, I, uh, I asked for one for my birthday, and here we are. This one came on, where'd you get it, eBay? Uh. Mercari. Ah. And it's, it came from Sacramento, California. Fed Up did a little bit of number on it. Uh, it, it the, uh, the little switches here broke off in shipping, but they were down in the box. Um, but this little thing down in there is broken, so it's not working at present. These two things are off kilter a little bit, and as such, the space bar is also a little stiff, but all the other keys seem to be perfectly fine. And this little, in, this little measuring indicator for when you load it with paper, that also broke off, so we'll have to fix that as well. We found a, uh, a typewriter repair shop about 10 miles from here. We're going to take it there and have it worked on, get it fixed up. The guy said that he would also clean it up and lubricate it and what have you uh, while he had it there. Stockton Typewriter Company. That's, I don't, I don't, did, did ours have a sticker on it that said Stockton on the front? I don't remember. No. But it's an IBM Selectric 2. Now, there were also an, I, there was also an IBM Selectric 2 correcting. It had like a little correcting ribbon in there that had I guess whiteout or something on it. And then there was a little button, oops, there was a little button right there that would activate the uh, the correcting ribbon. 
This one does not have that. This one's not a correcting model. I don't remember if ours was a, I don't remember if the first one I had was a correcting one either. I don't know if it was or not. Since assuming it came from a drugstore and was being used in a business, it probably was. But I never used that functionality, so it's not a big deal. Um, no, wait, this one has a backspace. I don't know. This little mechanism is stiff, but it works. He's going to lubricate that. It's got the little ball in there. It's a gothic one. These were called the Selectric, as best I understand it, because you could actually snap these on and off and change the font. That's just the ball that came with this one. We found a set of other ones. We found a set with all the other ones in it on eBay, I think. So we're going to see if we can get our hands on that and get the full selection of them. The cord is not grounded, inverted of what I would have expected. So I'm being kind of careful with it. But it's very cool to finally have one of these in my... What is fast becoming my memory room. <laughs> yeah, for real. Because this played a very important part in my childhood. Anytime I needed to write literally anything, I would go run across the street and knock on the door and say, hey, I need to borrow the typewriter for a minute. <laughs> and I used it all the time. My mother actually remembers... Uh, writing school papers and stuff on the one that they had. It would be kind of cool to have my actual childhood typewriter, but as I said, it got flooded, so that's not going to happen. But it's cool to have something either identical or very close to identical. My memory of this is kind of hazy. I was very young, but this thing's heavy too. I don't remember them weighing 40 pounds. And getting it up here was a pain, not because it was heavy, but because the box it came in is huge. So this box gave me some problems. But, whatever. So we're going to take it to this shop. We're going to be out and about here in a couple days. So we're going to drop it off at the shop either today or Friday. Or either tomorrow or Friday, I mean. And uh, we're going to get it fixed up. But that's going to be... My typewriter, and I, I would be okay with it being a decorative piece, but I mean, part of the whole memorabilia thing is actually having used it, so I would like it to be functional. That's why we're getting it repaired. Um, um, and Heather says, don't take it anywhere just yet. I may have someone that can do it for next to nothing. You might text her and say, she uh, sent you that message. I will call her and I'll call her and see what she says about that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's my Selectric. Uh, you have any other comments you'd like to add? Just I hope it gets fixed quickly so that you can play with it. <laughs> Probably not going to be doing too much playing with it more than just using it for its intended purpose. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna type me a letter, right? What the hell do you think I'm going to do? Of course I'm going to type your letter on that. Uh, you could also write a book on it. Or, oh, yeah. You know. Well, and that's the other thing. While you're staying here, I guess I can. I guess I should end the video now that we're done talking about this electric. But uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.